Protests, assaults, terror attacks. There seems to be a whole lot of hate in the United States nowadays. But what exactly is hate? Most of our feelings come in four basic flavors. Happy, sad, angry, and afraid. But hate, it turns out, is a different emotion entirely, even from a biological perspective. It was about a decade ago, researchers pinpointed what has come to be known as the brain's hate circuit. They put study participants into an MRI and showed them pictures of people that they had neutral feelings about. Then they also showed them pictures of people that they hated. In this case, perhaps an ex-lover or a competitor at work and they found certain parts of their brains lit up. And these parts of the brain play a big role in generating aggressive behavior and then translating that behavior into action. All in all, a bad combination, fueled by competitiveness or sense of loss. And do you know that saying, there's a thin line between love and hate? Well, turns out that's rooted in science as well. Much of the brain's hate circuit also fires up when you feel romantic love. And like love, there is evidence of hatred dating back to our oldest ancestors. For instance, it was likely the emotion of hate that made early hunter-gatherers feel okay about taking food away from their rivals in order to survive. In today's world, when people become frustrated, insecure, or afraid of losing something like their job, neighborhood, or their power, they can become filled with hate. And again, they can act out to save what they think they're losing. 